Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here. In this video, we're going to use ChatGPT to make our own stock screener using an API. So rather than being at the whims of um, the same stock screener everybody else is using, we're going to perform our own operations on, on, on the data directly. So hit the subscribe button uh, if you like this sort of content. So the prompt I'm using is I'm using Python. Can you write me a script? I have a financial modeling prep API key. I would like to list stocks and there are, yeah, okay, there you go. Easy enough. They should have no problem doing it. Okay, replacing our API key. Okay, here are our stocks. Okay, and then it gets the JSON response. And, it, and then it picks out the price. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. Our... Our key is actually hidden here. Okay, there you go. So this is a first step complete. So now we can kind of build upon this and I'm sort of in un uncharted territories now. So I'm gonna keep on going with this script, but uh, if it breaks, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it might break as we go. So I'm gonna say, let's instead of using these stocks can you query the API for a list of stocks that are in the medical industry certainly here's the updated Python script that uses financial modeling prep API to retrieve okay okay All right, so it's, it looks like it's only updated this part here. In this updated script, the first make an API request, okay, okay, yeah, it just kind of explains it a little bit. So this is all, there we go. And we cut off the U, see that's a problem. See how I cut off the U, I didn't notice that until I pasted it in there. Please, Lord. Please work. Please work. I don't want to have to make this video again. Oh, it got me. Oh, it got me. Response that JSON of price. Why is that giving me line 16? You know, what's changed? What has changed? Let's do this. Print st stonks. What's in there? Come on, buddy. So it does actually retrieve the stocks. There's no error handling, so that's why I have to kind of print it out like a clown. Okay, for stock in stock. Okay, here's the response. And then it errors here. Okay. Let me just put this error in there and see what it says. It's it's you know what this. Yeah, there you go. Okay, it's telling me it's actually telling me how to debug that. So rather than this we'll print out we'll print out response see what that gives me what is print change that up a little bit Where's pretty print? P print. What 
what I'm guessing is that basically there's an error for one of the stocks that are being requested and it's just breaking is probably the first one is my guess but you know I'm not going to go into debugging this this further uh, thanks for watching that's that's the basic overview of, how, of, of where we're starting so have a great day bye bye